it's time to talk about packings we have been talking about packed columns and probably you're wondering what do we fill in the packings before that let me show you that Previously we select the solvent for the operation and now it's time to select the packings in order to eventually calculate the column height, diameters and so on. So what's a packing? It's anything that goes inside that favors the gas-liquid interaction. Typically it must be inert, must not be corrosive, must not be uh, interfering in the gas-liquid interaction. There are several types and let's arrange them as they are Arranged right here, random packings. These could be this one right here. They just throw away the packings and they will randomly arrange. And the idea of this is to favor randomness. When you favor randomness, you favor lower or higher, pa longer pathways. Structure packing. This could be an example of structure packing. As you can see they will, let's say, it's structure, it's by design. You have all these. Even though it's by design, it still favors turbidity or let's say chaotic movement between the gas and the liquid. And finally, grid packings, similar to this. As you can see, these are grids. One grid, second grid, third grid, and so on. So you have several ways to do this. Even random packings, you could structure them, arrange them very beautifully in order to favor a very structure packaging so what are the requirements a very good performing packing must be chemically inert must not react with any fluid that is liquid or gas must avoid any type of corrosion must not be depositing any kind of material must be high in strength or mechanical strength meaning that it must be very strong in that it will not crack destroy or bend but it must be low in weight so maybe you're wondering is it plastics a good way to say mechanical strength yeah overall plastics will do ceramics well the problem with ceramics is that they can crack or be destroyed and the best case scenario will be steel because it's light sorry because it's strong but the problem with steel is that they are not that light metal steel is a little bit high in weight Void volume, it's also another concept to consider. Contain the adequate passage for both streams through all the operation. So you don't want a package which allows a lot of liquid flow and small gas flow. And the reverse is true. You don't want low liquid flow, but high gas flow. You want a balance. Also the surface area, the higher the surface area, the more liquid is going to interact with this and therefore the more it's going to interact with the gas. Typical units for the surface area, they call this parameter A and they have the amount of square meters of surface area per volume of packings. Cost must be as low as possible, must be replaceable, must be readily available and must be similar to what you're using. You don't want to be using several types of packings because you know if it's the packing it's the new one it's the old one and so on so the best case scenario is the same packing it must be resistant to falling meaning that there let's say as you can see here maybe some deposit of calcium or magnesium carbonate could be stuck in here or any other kind of falling you don't want that so try to choose a material which is resistant to falling